guys, we are back with our infamous trailer reactions. Uh, this is the NRW giving the NAW. I almost forgot what we're doing today, people. Um, I am Patrick, and it's a squad. What we do. Um, I got Marky Mark, not really nerdy in the house. Good. I got Dale Dalekset in the house. Louis Bailey, KPRM Gaming, and the Black Unicorn herself, Gringus, finally in front of the camera. We're gonna keep this up, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, there's no reason that this pretty woman should not be in front of the camera. Hey, show that woman some love. All right, we got a trailer for y'all. Um, something I'm kind of not sure about. I'm not. I, I saw the write up, but I was intrigued. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. Triple Frontier. Ben Affleck, our our, our current Batman. You know, uh, I do like him in other stuff. You know, I actually like a lot of the other stuff probably other than Batman, to be honest. Um, but he's got a new film. You guys want to check this one out? Yes. Yeah, yeah, All right, let's do this. Triple Frontier. Okay. It's a Netflix film, y'all. Oscar Isaac. And uh, what's his name? First things first. Any man here who wants to walk away can do so knowing they're the best of us. This gotta be now. There is no ground support. Injury was sustained. We're walking out with them. Make no mistake about it. You guys need to own the fact that we do not have the flag on our shoulders. You cannot go back to your normal life after tonight. Everything we've done for the last 17 years has nothing to show for it. You've been shot five times for your country, and you can't even afford to send your kids to college. If we had accomplished half the things that we've accomplished in any other profession, we'd be set for life. I'm your masters of war. The question is, do we finally get to use our skills for our own benefit? We're gonna get Gabriel Martin Luria. He's got over $75 million in cash. If you're not gonna Trevor, after you make your move, we are dead. We need to hunt quickly. You hang out there, they will find us. It's always a little harder than you think it's gonna be. This is not what I signed up for. A lot of people are gonna come after you. So we go through. Wow. Okay. Okay, Netflix, I see you. Yeah. I see you, Netflix. Yeah. All right, guys, we have Batman, Apocalypse, uh, King Arthur, and Tron teaming up. <laughs> if you didn't notice that, yeah, I, 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 was, I was looking at that. I was like, okay, I, you see, you see me. That's that. This is a nerd show, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm gonna notice things like that. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks interesting. Look, look, looks nice. dope. A uh, little black ops operation, uh, you know, robbery type thing. Yeah, I, I know we clown on on Ben Affleck yeah. a little bit, but. Out the gate, this looks like a role he's comfortable yeah. with. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Like, like it almost just wraps around him kind of naturally. So, yeah. you know, uh, all jokes aside, you know, I, I love things, like you said, that Ben Affleck did, especially from his early 90s Pre work, shit. all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he is, when he's good, he's good. Hell yeah. You know, and, and I am actually... I want this to work because it looks fantastic. Uh, yeah. Charlie uh, Hunnam. Hun Hunnam, Hunnam. Hunnam, King uh, Arthur, King Arthur, and Sons of Anarchy. Yes, Sons yeah, of Sons Anarchy. Of Anarchy. Yeah, that's um, that's so we we haven't seen him in something that's been as big as Sons of Anarchy. So, King Arthur was supposed to be, but I don't think King Arthur did that. Well. I don't think it did that well. So yeah. I, I, you know, where he's concerned, it always falls back to his breakout with Sons yeah. of Anarchy. So I. You know, I'm actually really excited to see him. I'm actually excited for this whole cast. Hell yeah. yeah. Oscar yeah. Isaac, yeah. Garrett yeah. Hedlund. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I have to hey, do it. I got to hand it to, to Netflix. Um, you know, we all know that the, the Disney, you know, stuff, it's gonna it's happening. Mm -hmm. But they are coming out of the park swinging. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. they are taking all kinds of risks. They are, they are definitely 
saying, hey, we're not going to fit into any particular mold. You want to be entertained, we will entertain you, so good on them. Yeah. I love the fact that they're actually reaching out to making these um, movies for theater, not just for Netflix. Fuck yeah. Production Hell yeah. Production movies. Yeah, and, and awesome. I, I think that's a smart move because since they're losing all the Marvel properties, they got to come back strong with something else to show that oh, yeah. we're not just about the Marvel Netflix you know the marvel series of why you want to watch this mm -hmm. here's some premium entertainment mm -hmm. that oh, yeah. we have created for you and i think that's yeah i think that's a very smart move yeah. from them and on that note I, I one of the things i was very pleased with as a image comics fan a malar world fan uh they tied mark they got mark miller uh involved with adapting a lot of his properties we're going to see a lot of his uh, films come play. He, mm -hmm. you know, you might know him from Kick Ass. Yeah. That's probably one of his bigger properties. Uh, yeah. But a lot of his stuff, he's got exclusive deals with. So uh, they, they actually, you, when you see that Image Comics title, uh, Images uh, helps him with the distribution. But it's a, a national Netflix comic uh, for a lot of the Malar World stuff. So uh, stay tuned. There, while they may be losing Marvel. They got their eyes on some of the other independent labels, so I'm for super sure. psyched. I about was that. actually, I, I guess, I was reading your mind because I was going to say the next thing for them to do is to have another like in their own series of comic shows under their their title, and that's yeah. that's good to hear. Cool. You know, I I have to say I, I agree with you, and, and I'll tell you out the gate, um, variant and image yeah. come to mind as as valiant. valiant. Yes, valiant. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah. valiant come to mind as. If Netflix is gonna is yeah. gonna tap to to kind of make up ground, yep. they have the talent and they don't have rules that they need to abide by yep. to really Ooh. do it justice. Oh, yeah. But back to the you know, what what got me about this trailer is if I were in a theater and I, I saw this, I'd be like, Oh sure, I I'll hand over my twenty bucks to go watch this. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I'm I looks good. Marky Mark, what you got? The cast alone, I'm already sold, and the concept is dope. Uh, it looks badass as shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Dude, I'm thinking we should just do a viewing here in the oh, Strange yeah. Theater, man. Yeah. We got to yeah, yeah, check yeah, this I'll out, man. That. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Triple Frontier, guys. Let's put those fists out, man. What are we going to do? Yes, if we're going to see it. Down if no. Or to decide if it's still coming, maybe. One, two, three. Yes. Thumbs up. <laughs> Triple Frontier, Ben Affleck, Garbage. a.k.a. Batman, Oscar Isaac, a.k.a. Apocalypse. Charlie Hunman, a.k.a. King Arthur, and Gary Hudlin from Tron. I'm ready. So, let us know in the comments if you're checking out out as well. Triple Frontier.